Hello everyone, this is Walter Adams and what I'm going to do in this exercise is uh, work, uh, having worked with the calculators in the previous series, um, I'm going to now work with Excel. And in the uh, calculator series we went through how to do present values and future values and we eventually ended up doing net present values with uneven cash flows. Well, how do we do net present values in Excel? along with uh, calculating the rate of return. And in this case, I'm going to demonstrate both the internal rate of return, which we did with the calculator, as well as the more complicated modified internal rate of return uh, here in, ex in Excel. So what I've laid out here is a series of cash flows where we have minus 1,000 and year zero, 500 in year 1, 400 in year 2, 300 in year 3, and 100 in year 4. Now the rate that I'm using for this exercise is 10%. Now it's important uh, in, in terms of difference between uh, calculator and Excel to realize that in Excel we have to use the decimal form. If you remember in the calculator we did not do that. We would just put in 10 for 10 percent. Now in, a, in Excel we have to use the decimal form of 0 0.10. Now just to demonstrate that if I were to click right here and put uh, 0 0.10 and uh, uh, I have this cell formatted for percentages, you see that 0 0.10 formats to 10 percent. However, um, we want to make sure that we enter the appropriate decimal, otherwise our calculation will not be correct. Now when we go uh, into working an NPV, uh, in Excel we always want to first start a formula by hitting the equal sign. Now you can watch what I'm doing here but you will also see the formulas and the activity up uh, here in the uh, formula bar. So we always start a formula with the equal sign. So we put equal and just to show you how easy this is, there's a formula in Excel called NPV. So notice how I simply type equal NPV and watch what happens right here when I put my first parentheses, parentheses you actually see the instructions right here in your Excel sheet. What it says is first put in the rate. Now I don't have to type that in, I can just come up and click the cell. So I click the cell where my rate is. I just put a comma and notice then it tells me to add my values. Now I don't need to add all the values separately, I can just highlight all of them. Now here though is a very, very, very important difference between doing a net present value in Excel and in the calculator. You're thinking that you would simply start with minus 1000 and highlight all the way through 100 and those are the values. That would make a lot of sense given what we did with the calculators. In Excel there's a little nuance. When it says it wants the values, it only wants the future flows. Look at what I'm doing. I'm only taking in, I'm highlighting, I just ran my cursor across the future flows for values. Then what I'm doing is I'm closing the parentheses and then I am adding, adding in the negative year zero. And then I hit the enter button and look at that. I get the net present value of 7882. So the real key to this, if you look up here in the formula bar, is that you don't take as your values, after you enter the rate, you don't take as your values year zero forward. You only take the future values and then you add in the negative year zero, which is a little counterintuitive from what we did on the calculators. Now let's go down and do an IRR. Now it gets really easy. What's this? equal sign IRR first parentheses here I highlight everything I know it's a little confusing because in the NPV we only highlighted future values but in the IRR start with year zero and simply highlight all of your numbers close the parentheses and look at that 
There's your internal rate of return, 14.49%. And the modified internal rate of return, that complicated formula that just seems impossible to understand, watch how easy this is, equals M-I-R-R, first parentheses. What does it say? First, it says values. As, just as with the IRR, I take all of my values from year zero forward, and then, then I put a, per, uh, a comma, and then it says finance rate. All right, well, the finance rate is our 10%. Then I have a comma, and it says reinvest rate. Now, you know that with the modified internal rate of return, we're able to offer a different reinvestment rate if we choose. Now, I'm not choosing to do that here. I'm going to use the same one. But, uh, so in this case, I'm going to come back up and click on the 0.10 again. But that's how you do the MIRR. I close the parentheses. I hit enter and look at that. I've got my modified internal rate of return. That's all there is to it uh, with uh, between the calculators and Excel. These uh, complex calculations are really quite easy. And with Excel, uh, even the modified internal rate of return is quite easy to do. So I hope that's helpful for you and uh, hope you're able to go forward now and be very successful in doing these calculations. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.